Hey, what's happening guys? Chris here with another Doom Weapon Guide, and today we're blasting people into pieces as I'll be checking out that rocket launcher in multiplayer. So, much like a lot of the other weapons, the rocket launcher has returned from older Doom games and functions exactly how you'd expect it to. It's a shoulder-mounted weapon that fires rockets with an exploding payload in a semi-auto fashion. The primary firing mode launches these rockets through the air in a straight line, at a medium velocity. They then explode as soon as they touch a surface or another player, doing damage over a fairly wide area. The weapon mod allows you to detonate these airborne rockets mid-flight, allowing you to deal splash damage to nearby opponents, and make use of a shot that would otherwise have flown right past your target and dealt no damage at all. You won't be given a lot of ammo to start off with, as you'll only spawn into the match with 15 rockets, though this can be increased up to 25 as you dash around the map, snatching up those ammo crates. It's another one of those weapons that can be used straight from the word go, as it's unlocked at rank 2, so right at the beginning, plus you can also use it on the default assault loadout. But despite it being available so early on, it's actually one of the trickier weapons to get the hang of, though its high damage output can destroy your opponents when used correctly. So mechanically, the launcher functions in a fairly simple way, it deals all of its damage via those exploding rockets and nothing else. Each projectile you shoot off can deal a maximum of 60 damage with a direct hit, so anyone who comes into contact with one of those rockets is definitely going to know about it, as that critical hit damage will be applied and will impact their health in quite a big way. This damage is higher than a direct blast from the combat shotgun in CQC, and is on par with a fully charged body shot from the static cannon, so it's easily enough to put anyone down with a low amount of health, and knock out chunks of HP, leaving your enemies much more easier to finish off with those follow up blasts. Indirect hits can still harm opponents with splash damage, though this is going to be weaker than actually landing your shot on them. The amount of splash damage dealt from the explosion varies depending on how close your target is to the rocket once it goes off, though it will never be quite as high as a direct hit. It's usually best going for critical hits for this reason, though it's easier said than done, as the projectiles don't exactly travel very quickly through the air, and by the time the rocket has reached an opponent that you were aiming at, the other guy is likely going to be nowhere near the rocket as it blows up. This is more problematic when dealing with players beyond medium range, as you'll have to allow for a longer time that the rocket is going to have to spend flying through the air, to reach where it needs to be. The only way to really counter this slower velocity is pretty much to shoot where your target is going to be, and to predict their exact movements. This might take some practice, as you're going to have to get to grips with the speed of the rockets and the judgement of distances, but when you can estimate the whereabouts of an enemy, it makes the rocket launcher a much more effective weapon to have equipped. If an enemy is running in a straight line in a specific direction, it's a lot easier to hit them than you might think, and you'll find that if you can judge the speed and distance of your own rockets, to work out the distance in front of them that you should fire, it can often get you a direct hit, as they'll run into that mid-air rocket, and that maximum damage will be dealt. If not, it could deal some splash damage instead, but at least you won't be missing your shots completely and giving away your position. A good tactic for ensuring that you're going to deal some damage is by jumping in the air and shooting downwards at an angle towards your target's feet. It's not a guaranteed way to achieve critical hits, but it will make sure that the rocket is going to explode close to your opponent. With the rockets detonating on impact, the floor is a surface that will cause this detonation, and with your enemies being on the floor most of the time, it's a perfect surface to shoot at that can't really be moved away from. Other nearby walls and surfaces can be shot at to cause splash damage, but the floor is always going to be there, and always going to be useful for dealing high amounts of splash damage. For this reason, other than jumping, using higher platforms and ledges around the map can often be beneficial, as you can shoot down at anyone below, and if your shot misses, it'll usually still injure your targets, as those nearby explosions go off near their feet. Now, other than using hard surfaces to detonate the rockets, the weapon mod is a helpful tool for ensuring a shot will cause some damage, that would have otherwise missed. You can pretty much detonate any rocket that you fire whenever you want in the air. And of course this is great for dealing splash damage to someone if your rocket isn't going to hit them, but is flying nearby. As a way to finish off someone who's already lost a lot of health, detonating your shots near to opponents can often dish out the damage that you'll need to put them down. It's also very useful for when taking on clusters of enemies at once, as if they're all close by to each other, detonating a rocket that passes nearby can affect them all and knock out health from each of them. Determining when to actually detonate a rocket as it flies by can be a little bit tricky, as it's not always completely clear when the rocket is close to your target to achieve that successful blast. Once again, this is another judgement factor that can only really be practiced with and improved on over time. Though this also comes back to the whole point of getting used to the rocket's speed. If you're still having problems with judging the movements of those rockets, it's best to be patient and keep your opponents visible at all times, detonating as soon as you see the rockets past your target. 
Though a more advanced tactic is to pop in and out of cover, detonating the rockets as soon as you think that it's close to the other player. This will both allow you to deal the damage, and also protect yourself from incoming fire, all while staying out of clear line of sight. A big factor to point out about the launcher is the fact that it can deal self-damage if fired too close, and those explosions can take away around about 30 HP if you're not careful. This means that the rocket launcher isn't a great weapon to have for those close quarter battles. It might be easier to hit opponents that are nearby, but that self-damage can often do more harm than good. For this reason, I'd probably opt for a CQC friendly weapon like a shotgun for a secondary. The super shotgun is a very good option to bring alongside the launcher, as you can deal heavy amounts of damage to enemies at longer ranges with those rockets, and finish them off as soon as they get closer with a lethal shotgun blast. Because both the rocket launcher and the super shotgun are both high damage weapons, when utilised at the specific ranges, this can be a super deadly combo when switching between the two. Other good weapons could be ones that fire quickly to finish off players damaged by the wrath of those exploding rockets, and the Assault, Burst and Plasma Rifle are all good for doing this, if you prefer to deal sustained damage to enemies at further distances to finish them off that way instead. So the Rocket Launcher is a weapon that's best suited for medium ranges, as when used too close, you're likely to hurt yourself, but too far away and it's going to be more difficult to land shots. It's a risk-reward kind of weapon that can be tricky to do well with, but can be brutally punishing when used correctly. It rewards skill, and is very effective when you can predict player movement correctly, gauge rocket speed, and judge distances for both aiming and detonating mid-air projectiles. Providing you can do all of this, you can deal serious amounts of damage quickly, and help to lower health using that splash damage too, when you can't get direct hits, or to finish weakened players off. It might take some practice getting used to, but when used properly, the rocket launcher can be a very dangerous weapon to blast health away, and affect multiple players at once. So that's just about it for this one guys, but if you enjoyed the guide, let me know by slapping that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more weapon guides for Doom and other games, check out my channel and subscribe if you like what's there. Take it easy, and I'll see you in that next one.